asked me recently how to sort out the difference between photo and designer files in Affinity um, Suite because it it can get confusing when you've opened up a, a designer file and then maybe switched it through to photo uh, and then as you've saved it it's perhaps saved it as a photo file or appears to. So I thought I'd do a, a quick video to cover the differences and also to explain how to export individual graphics out of a single file so you have them all as separate graphics. Now if you've not been here before my name's Jane Willingale of Silverzone Printables and I create videos for this channel based on low content publishing and printables for Etsy or similar platforms as well as tips for using the Affinity Suite to achieve that. And if that kind of thing interests you then click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos like this. And if you find this video helpful then please do click on the like button which will help this video get seen and help me grow this channel. I really do appreciate it. So one of the first things you can do to make sure your files save within the right program is to uh, click uh, one of the tick boxes in the preferences. So that's under edit and preferences and under the general tab you have a list of choices here which you can set as default for all of your files. One of which is to save thumbnails with documents so that if you have an Affinity Designer file it will save with the Affinity Designer thumbnail and likewise for photo. The same option is available within photo and in publisher under the same um, preferences tab. So that's that bit. So the next thing was to uh, show how to export all individual graphics and, and I'm just going to open up this file so you can see uh, as, as separate ones rather than as a whole graphic which you can see it is at the moment. The whole thing is grouped together as you can see on the right hand side and if you click on the little arrow you can see all the separate groups. That doesn't necessarily help you because some of the groups are groups within groups which means if you just literally ungroup all of that or try to pick those out as a group it'll get very confusing and very messy. So my method is to select the whole whole lot and ungroup it by using Control shift g and nothing will apparently change but it is all individual sections now and then I will go through and select each graphic and regroup it so that's Control g so we'll just pop through this file Oops. and group each one of those graphics And as long as the file you have has vectors in it, you should be able to do this. Okay, that's all of those as separate groups. And you can see now that they are all separate groups and much more, much easier to click on and manipulate in the right hand side under the layers tab. So in order to export these as PNGs or JPEGs or SVGs, however you want them, the next thing we need to do is go to the export persona which is up here in the top left hand corner and it's the far right export persona. This changes the tools and it changes the tabs on the right hand side. Now depending on how you want to export these, let me just go back to the export options, you can set a default here. Most people will want PNGs but you can also change that to JPEG if you want it as a default. I'm going to leave this as PNG for now and go back to the layers. The next thing you need to do is set up each of these graphics as a slice otherwise when you click on one um, you will have to do each one individually which is not what we want to do here. So if we go to the top layers, top tabs here and choose slices, make sure your preset is single PNG and click on the first one choose an export preset which is here click on the second one and again choose an export preset and you can see that each time I do this it's creating a new slice okay so I've just run through all of those selected each one 
chosen the export preset and now I have each one as an individual slice. 13 I think, yes 13. And you can see them all separated in the layers tab to the right hand side under slices. Each one has a separate number and now we're going to export all of them in one go. To do that we need to select all of the slices but not this top one because that's the whole document. So if I click on the first one, hold down shift and click on the bottom one, that selects all of the slices. Then we come down to the bottom and we click on export slices. That will take me to my explorer and I've set up a folder to put them in. So I click on that and click export. And if I now go into that file, backgrounds and decorations, you can see I have them all saved as separate files. It's actually saved the top one as well, which I didn't think I'd selected, but there you go. We can delete that one if we don't need it. But we have the rest. And the only downside there is that they're all saved as slice one, slice two. You can change this in Explorer itself by selecting all of the files. Again, hold down shift, select the first one and then the last one and it will choose them all. Keep the shift button held down. Right click on your mouse and come down to rename. Choose rename and give it a name. We'll call it decorations. Don't put anything else after it and hit return. And you will see that it's changed all the names with a number after to a more appropriate general title. You can do exactly the same process in photo. So it really doesn't matter which program you're in because um, designer has a pixel persona and photo has a vector persona. So you can switch between the two with great ease. But if you're in photo and you want to do the same thing and I will just open a file and run through the same process. So if we pick up a different file here and once again you will see they're all grouped together and if I click on the little button they're uh, a mass of, of curves so it would be quite hard to pick them out individually. So if I click on each one you can actually see that some of the parts are grouped but it would be again as I say hard to pick out. So if we ungroup Control shift g and then go through select and group each one and that's control G. So I've just run through and, and grouped all those graphics individually. Okay. And while I remember I'll just quickly show you it's exactly the same edit preferences and general to save thumbnails with the documents as it is in designer. So this is exactly the same menu structure. One of the things I like about um, Affinity is the fact that it doesn't really matter which program you're in, you can nearly always find the same thing under the same menu structure. So now we need to export these as PNGs. So we will choose the export persona on the end here and we will make sure the default is set as PNG and we will go to selection, choose the first image and make sure down here under slices that we choose it as a PNG and literally run through each one and select it and set it as a separate slice um, to go out to, so to be exported as a PNG. Okay so I've run through and set all those up as separate slices and the next thing we want to do is export them all as PNGs together. So we select the first one, hold down shift, down to the bottom and select the bottom one and export slices down here in the bottom right hand corner and this one we will call fauna because that's what it was called to start with. Go into that folder and export and once again you will see that if I go into that folder they are all exported including the whole file. And you can save that one or not as you wish. And the same process to rename them is to hold shift, select the first one, hold shift and select the last one down to rename and give them all a better name. 
and it will rename them with a number for each one. And one other thing to say, and this applies to Designer as well, is that if you wish to save all of those as JPEGs as well as PNGs, you can do that as well. So before you uh, close the file without saving it, leave all these selected. And if you go to the, well, you don't need to leave them selected. If you go to the first one and open up, change the PNG to JPEG, we'll choose medium quality. And then up here, you have options for copying this export format. So if you select the first one, which is copy, go down to the next one, select it, again, hold shift down to the last one. And then the next icon along is replace the export setup. Click on that. And if you check on any of them further down, you'll now see that that export formats changed to JPEGs. So I can now export, I'll just reselect the ones I want to export, all of those as JPEGs as well, without having to go through and select all the separate graphics. And we'll go export slices, leave it in the same folder and click on export. And we will now have a second set of files, but they will all have a JPEG extension instead of a PNG. Now, what I would normally do is set up a separate folder inside of this folder for PNGs, JPEGs, SVGs, whatever I'm exporting as. That keeps them separate so you haven't got a messy file structure. So I hope that speeds up your export process of graphics and gives you a better ability to set up libraries of different files that you can use in your projects. I've been Jane Willingale of Silverzone Printables. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.